Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High, Yahweh, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop, great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere arguments, keep pushing, keep believing, keep your faith. Regardless of people here for a bear, the Lord has given us the gift of faith. And this is a powerful gift to believe in some that you don't see. The majority of people will look at us like, in which they're looking at us like we're bugged out, um, ludicrous. Uh, we're, we're out of our minds. <laughs> we we have lost it. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're off the rocker. Things of that nature for believing in something that we don't. This is a powerful gift to believe that we can get delivered when situations get um, unmanageable, so to speak. When it, when it gets outrageous, that when it ain't no food, we have been given the gift to, be, to believe that we can receive food. <laughs> when all hell breaking loose, man. We can receive water. This this is a powerful gift to believe in something that you don't see. Remember, the Lord said the angels that camp round about us, they fear the Lord and deliver us out of all our troubles. Look, guess what? We believe that th this is a powerful gift. I think about it all the time, man. Um, and I'm thankful to you, Howard Bashim Yahushua, for this gift. Shit, damn near my whole family, pretty much my whole family. None of them have faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, so we got to count it a blessing, a true blessing. Let's, let's read this again, man, because our people, they do have faith in nonsense. They don't have the gift of faith according to the Bible. You see, they put their trust in, in, in the earth and worldly things and sleazy E in their job. They have faith in their job. No, we don't put our faith in our job. We put our faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let's read this again. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That, that gift, man. And when you think about it, 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 it you you like, wow. The Lord actually got me believing in something that I have never seen. And, and it, it's powerful, man. It, it, it leaves you at awe. When you really think about it, man, like, man, the whole world wasn't given faith. The majority of the Israelites wasn't given faith, but we got faith. And Lord willing, we retain it. Lord willing, the Lord uh, puts, keeps it in our spirit to return to retain it, right? Let's go here. And you know, I, the Lord got me hyped always, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. Let's give verse 6, though. 11, verse 6, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. It's impossible to please the God of the Bible. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, without faith. It says, For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Look, look, faith with works, though. The Lord said, You got faith in me? Look, you're going you're gonna to prove that to me by your works. And I want to get with uh, what faith is, as far as in being a gift. Everybody didn't receive it. I want to get this right quick in Ephesians. A quick little read right quick before I head out. I'm about to roll out. Head to work. It's all good. Faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai. Look, the Lord has given us the gift of faith to know that this place is out of here. No matter how much building they do, no matter how much money they pumping into the economy, no matter what things look like. See, we don't go according to what things look like. We walk by faith, not by sight. Remember that, Israel. Remember that. Because you got the majority of our people talking, why don't you go back to college? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? They haven't been given the gift of faith to know that this place is circling the drain. CTD. But let's get this though, Ephesians 2 and 8. By grace are you saved through faith and then not of yourselves. We didn't give ourselves faith. That's the thing about it. That's why we got to be so thankful. We didn't give ourselves faith. It, it was nothing that we did 
to receive faith. Is it what, what, what did it say? What did it say? It is a gift of the Most High. Yeah, faith. It is a gift of the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Listen, listen. Not of works. There's nothing that we did to receive faith. It ain't because we know a whole lot of precepts, you know, or, or none of that because we can run fast and things like that. No, man, it's a gift. It's not of works. At least any man should boast. Because if we gave ourselves faith, you know what I'm saying, we, we might start boasting. But knowing that it's a gift from you, how about Shemel Shai? We ain't have nothing to do with it. That humbles you down for real, for real. We didn't give ourselves this knowledge. We're not making ourselves remember these different precepts. We're not making ourselves, we're not willing ourselves to do these lessons each and every morning or throughout the day in the live streams and things of that nature. No, it's all gifts of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. It's the Lord controlling our spirits. And then I want to just get one quick precept. It's the Lord controlling our spirits, man, on what we do day to day. This is Proverbs. Bear with me. Um, Proverbs, what is it, 24? Let's see, bear with me. I ain't read it in a little while. I think it's 21. 20. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So who's controlling man? The Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot. So all our thoughts are being controlled. All our actions are being controlled. What we remember, what we don't remember, all being controlled. What lessons that we bring out each and every day, all being controlled. Where you go, being controlled. What you do at work, being controlled. What you do in your car, being controlled. Where you go, being controlled. You see? So we don't control anything. So there's no boasting. There's no bragging. That, that keeps you more humble. We you know you're not controlling everything. So let's go right back. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 9. Not of works, least any man should boast. So this is not of us. Everything that we're doing is not of us. It's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shalom. And Lord has given us the faith to believe that. It takes faith to believe that, to believe that we're not controlling anything. It takes faith because the majority of our people, they think they're they doing everything. Nah, man. You see? Let's see. I want to read this too. James, James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. You, you didn't hear that though, right? Every gift, faith, trust, um, strength, whatever, man. You just keep naming them, naming them, naming them. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scripture, all these things are gift, gifts. And, and where did it say it came from? What did it say it came from? James 1, 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Like that faith, that's a gift from above. And cometh down from the Father of lights, from the Heavenly Father, with whom is no variant, variance, variableness, neither shadow of turning. And, that, and that's a powerful scripture. <laughs> Everything that we do, every gift that we have came from the heavens, man. Came from the heavens. So, yeah, we believe in things that we don't see. As the scripture said, it's impossible to please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai without it, man. You know what I mean? Like I said before, I'm just flowing in the spirit right now. I'm doing a quick little lesson through the spirit, and then, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Remember, without faith, it's impossible to please him. And all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. This is going to be a quick little lesson through the Spirit, and I'm, and I'm going to wrap it up. Let's see here. Bear with me. Just looking through the Scriptures. Yeah, you sit back and think about it sometimes, man, like, wow, man. The Lord has actually given me faith to believe in everything that's written in the Bible. We don't read certain Scriptures and say, no, nah, it, nah, it, don't, it don't mean that. No. We go into the meaning of the words, and we say, oh, yeah, it, it, show up, it means that. The Lord said rightly, he says, study to show thyself approved. And, and look, in order for us to study, the Lord has to put the spirit on us to study, man. Everything's coming from the Lord. This is our 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Verse, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. 
I'll just go straight to the point too. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 2. Matter of fact, I, I read one. Finally, brethren, pray for us. The little, oh yeah, the gift of prayer. Prayer is a gift. Can't forget that. Prayer is a gift from the, from the heavens, right? Finally, brethren, pray for us. That the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men for all men have not faith so people coming up against us because they ain't got faith they heard the word just like we heard the word going right back to hebrews the um the fourth chapter but it wasn't mixed with faith everyone doesn't have faith let's read this again and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men you can't, you can't reason with these men, these wicked men on the face of the earth. The, uh, in the precept, it says I'm um, absurd. You know what I'm saying? Unreasonable and wicked men. That's who's coming up against us for believing in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Our prayer is to be delivered from these unreasonable and wicked men. Because they're starting to wax worse and worse. For all men have not faith. So we must definitely got to be thankful, man. You see? But the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is faithful, you see, who shall establish you and keep you from evil, man. You see? Let's see. I might as well, I might as well get this one right quick. See, we want to be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men who have not faith. They, they haven't received the gift. They haven't been blessed to receive the gift. That's why we got to be more thankful. Out of a number of amount of Israelites on the face of the earth, we have been given the gift of faith to believe in the words, and they haven't. They, they have been blinded. So let's read this. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. Matter of fact, I started one. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. Let us therefore fear. You see, fear is a motivator. The scriptures say um, the Lord is very well pleased with those that fear him. And he revealeth his secrets unto those that fear him. I think it's our Psalms 25 and 14. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 1, let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, meaning the kingdom, any of you should seem to come short of. And the scriptures tell us the majority of our people are not going to enter into their rest, meaning the kingdom, because of their unbelief, because, their because of their lack of faith, and plus they won't chosen anyway. For unto us was the gospel preached, meaning the good news, as well as unto them. But the word preach did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it so when they heard the word we heard the word they heard the word but the thing about it the lord gave us a gift of faith to believe in the words when we heard it that's why we started boogie woogie man that's why we, we jumped to it we started researching reading we, we dive right into it why because that gift of faith was turned on they heard the word they was like man that don't sound right man you bugging out and they kept it pushing so we got to most definitely be thankful, man. They heard the word, didn't believe. Uh, let's see. Let's see. For we, for we which have believed do enter into rest. As he said. As he said, man. The Israelites that believe that has been given the gift of faith. You enter into the Lord's rest. Meaning being delivered. You see, in those chariots, what they really call UFOs, and Lord willing, we part of that number. You know, look, look, rich in faith. We might not have the most money. We might not have the most fanciest cars. That's what people look at. Your, your possessions, what you have and all that, but not the Lord. Not the Lord. You know, I, you know I got to read this. This is James chapter 2, verse 5. Hawking, my beloved brethren, have not the most high Yahweh? Chosen the poor of this world. Now we're not bums, um, even though people call us bums. The bomb camp, the bomb camp. We're, we're not digging out of trash cans. What the scriptures is basically saying you, you might not have more as, as other people have, you know, but the Lord has given us a roof of our head, clothes, shoes to wear, things of that nature, food, water. We're, we're content with what we have been blessed with. We might not be standing in a big ass mansion. We might not be riding around in a limo each and every day. But look, we're not bums on the streets, even though people say that, right? Let's read this again. James chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, meaning, listen, my beloved brethren, have not the Most High Yahweh 
by Hashem Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. You see, like you, you see these um, false Israelite groups, yeah, they're rich with carnal possessions. You see, but when it comes to that, they're bums when it comes to having faith. You see, we're poor, but we're rich in faith. We're rich in faith. You see, the Lord has really poured uh, an abundance of faith within our vessels, man. You see, that's why no matter what these people say, you know what I'm saying? Look, the Lord, you know what I'm saying? God is like um, rooted and grounded, man. Unmovable, as the scriptures have said, Lord willing, we endure. It says, have not the most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him. That's, that's why we walk by faith, not by sight. Rich in faith, man. Rich in faith. And I mean, I got plenty of scriptures that I could bring out. But I'm about pressed for time and I got the roll. Let's see what else. Let's see. And our faith is going to be tested. Let's get this right quick. First Peter chapter 1 verse 7. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish it, though it be tried with fire. I mean, these fiery trials. Our faith is being tested on a daily basis. And the ultimate test, you know what I'm saying, is coming. You see? The hour of temptation, man. You see? Jacob's trouble. Our faith is going to be tested by that fire. It says, um, through, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearance of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's why, we, that's why we must endure to the end. It says, he that endureth it to the end, the same shall be saved, right? Remember, um, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And then the Lord, you know what I'm saying, commands us to be faithful stewards, you know? I mean, I could go on and go on and go on, but look, I'm, I'm going to read one more. I'm going to read one more, and then I'm going to wrap it up because I got to go. Let's see. I got to roll out. Wish I didn't have to roll out, but you know, we got to go get our daily bread. It's part of, it's part of it. Let's see. Um, second Ezra chapter 9 verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape, escape what? That judgment. And shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. Faith with works, right? Whereby ye have believed. You see? S shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning so some of us have already been predestined to make it you know what I'm saying the elect unto salvation it, let it say it said those that are able to escape shall escape by faith and their works yeah, this is a beautiful story, man. Just, I just, just want to touch on quick, a quick lesson on just faith, man. Having faith. Lord willing, the elect is edified, man. The gift of faith. Shalom.